This screencast pertains to the problem set from Module 2, Lesson 4, and should help you with your homework for the same lesson. Let's get started. The first sort of problem that you are going to encounter includes these instructions. Circle each expression that is not equivalent to the expression in bold. Let's take and underline that word, not equivalent. Make sure that we pay attention to directions. So we're going to look at the expression 16 times 29. And we want to see which one of these is different, is not the same. So we're going to have to look at each of these and do a little bit of work to figure out what's going on. Let's start with 29 16s. We should know by now when we say 29 16s, we have 29 16s, which is 29 times 16. So 29 times 16. We know that that, because of the commutative property, we know that that has the same value as the expression in bold. So we're not going to select that one. <coughs> Let's look at the next one. We have 16 times 30 minus 1. Well, if we evaluate the expression, 30 minus 1, we get 29. And 16 times 29 uh, is the same as 16 times 29, so we're not going to select that one either. Going on to the next one, we see we have 15 minus 1 times 29, or the difference of 15 and 1 times 29. Let's evaluate the expression in the parentheses. 15 minus 1 is 14 times 29. Well, 14 times 29 is certainly not the same as 16 times 29. So we can circle that one. If we had changed that to 15 plus uh, 1, then we would not circle it and it would be the same. Let's look at the next one. We have 10 times 29 minus 6 times 29. Well, if we use our distributive property, we could determine that 10 times 29 minus 6 times 29 would be the same as 4 times 29. And that certainly is not equivalent to 16 times 29. So we can circle that one as well. These are a little complicated. Um, I'll do another uh, set for another uh, example. Now we do the same thing, and we have the expression in bold, 38 times 45. If we look at the first expression, we have... 38 times 40, or plus 40, and 38 plus 5. Hmm. Well, let's evaluate those two expressions. 38 plus 40 is 78 times 38 plus 5 is 43. We can see that uh, both of our factors are uh, bigger, especially if we look at this one and relate it to this one, it's larger. This one and this one, we see that it's larger. We're certainly going to end up with a larger product than we would if we multiplied 3 times 45. The one thing that uh, they're trying to fool you with here is if we had uh, the addition sign here and we multiplied in here, it would be a different case. So watch the signs closely. We will circle that because it is not equivalent. Let's go on to the next one. Well, if we look at that and compare it with the previous one, it's the way I had mentioned that would make this one true. We are now multiplying these. So if we consider our distributive property here, we can see that if we have 38, or if we have 40 38s, and we add 5 38s, 
we have 45 38 So this one is equivalent. Again, if I have 40 38 and 5 38 add them together, it's the same as 45 38 So we don't circle that one because it's equivalent. Moving on to the next one. 45 times 40 plus 2. 45 times the sum of 40 plus 2. If we evaluate the expression in the parentheses, we would get a 42. 45 times 42 is not the same as 38 times 45. So we can circle that one. And if we look at the last one, we have 45 38. Well, that's the same as 45 times 38. And we won't select that one because using the commutative property, we can clearly see that 38 times 45 is the same as 45 times 38. Let's go on to another. In this one, we're going to look at an expression and we're going to have to create a tape diagram based upon this this expression here. So looking carefully we see that we have 79 times 14. So let's fill that out. That means we have 79 14s. Let's model that tape diagram. And obviously it's not practical to draw 7914, so we're going to use our ellipsis. And let's think about what we're going to do with this. Now we're using the strategy where we're going to use easy to calculate, or at least easier to calculate amounts. I see that 79 is very close to 80. And it would certainly be easier to multiply 80 times 14 than it would to be multiply 79 times 14. We'll put another 14 in there. So I'm going to use this. And a little, a little short on space, but I have 80 14s. But I want to find 79 14s. Well, we can fairly easily calculate uh, this using this strategy of we have 80 14s minus 1 14, which is the same as 80 times 14 minus 1 times 14. And if I multiply that, uh, 80 times 14, uh, we would get 1,120. It's not that hard to do. We can regroup that uh, eight. Uh, that four times eight is a thirty-two. We have to tack on that zero because we're multiplying by eight tens, not eight. And we regroup the three and multiply the eight times one. We get eleven. So now we're going to uh, subtract one times fourteen, and we will get one thousand one hundred six. Let's do another example. This case is going to be a little bit different. This one we have 2175, so I'm going to write 2175s. Now 21 is very close to 20, so we're going to work with 20, and then we're going to add another 75 to find what 21 is. So let's, let's begin with our tape diagram. Again, we'll use that ellipsis so that we don't have to draw in 21 of these, not practical. Now, if we take a look at this, we'll call this all 21 75s. We're going to calculate 20 75s. And 
and add one more 75. Short on space. Okay. So we're going to take 20 75s and add one. So we're going to think 20 75s plus 175, which is 20 times 75 plus 1 times 75. Well, I know that 2 times 75 is 150. But I'm multiplying two tens, so I'd have 150 tens, or 1,500. Now we'll simply add our 75, and we'll find the product, or the sum, rather, of 1,575. Okay, we're going to do another uh, couple of these. Uh, it's it's going to be a slight variation on it, but very similar to what we've done. All right. In this case, we're going to uh, name our unit here as opposed to name our number. The unit was given in the previous problems. In this one, we have our number. So all we're going to do here is 19 times 15 is 19, 19 15s. So we'll continue here. 19. Well, 20 is a lot easier to work with than 19, so we're going to use our strategy of figuring out how much 20 15s is and then take one 15 away. Let's draw that tape diagram. We're going to put in our 15s. Our ellipsis. And we're going to put in two more 15s at the end. Now, we have, excuse me, not, we have uh, 20 15s. Let's erase that. And we want to find what 19 15s are. All right, let's translate that into some expressions. We think of 20 15s. Minus 1 15 equals 20 times 15 minus 1 times 15. 20 times 15, well, I know that 2 times 15 is 30. So 2 is 2 tens, so 30 tens is 300. 300 minus 15. Some of us may have to do this out, but after a while you'll get a little bit better at this, and the answer is 285. Going on to our final example for the screencast, we have 14 times 15. So, again we have to find the unit is 15 again. Now, in this case, we're going to use another strategy. We're going to take this, make our tape diagram. We're going to find 10 15s plus 4 15s. And we'll just call this here our 10 15s. Should use my number and then we'll put in the unit. So I'll put in 10 15s. We're going to add 4 15s. I'll draw in 1, 2, 3, 4. Or 15s. Okay, let's translate this. We have 10 15s plus 4 15s. Now 
let's go to a math expression. 10 times 15 plus 4 times 15, which gives us a total of 14 15s. 10 times 15 is 150, or 150, excuse me. And 4 times 15, well, I know 2 15s is 30, so 4 15s must be 60. We'll find the sum. 150 plus 60 is 210. And these procedures may seem complicated. Uh, follow the steps, look at your practice set, and of course refer to this. It should help you quite a bit with your homework.